side B, chapter 5. So in the last episode, so in the last episode, uh, we anyway, in the last episode we finished the fourth chapter of the game, and it turned out that Zed is not actually the bad guy, but he made a deal years ago that uh, he can he cannot undo. What I believe, I said in the previous episode, but I'm going to say in this one too, in case you didn't see, you didn't see the last one, if you didn't, go watch it, please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, is that after he saved so many miners that day, and he built, they built a statue for him, I think he saw too much. He found out the worst thing, the worst thing, uh, the worst things actually about... Typhon. So Typhon couldn't be, couldn't give him like a letter, uh, like it it gave us, and be, you should drop the charges and you free or you face the f music. He told him that if you even if you don't sign, we're gonna hunt you down. You and your family, and the whole town, not just the, uh, him and his. Um, and his son. So it was, it was the whole village, the whole Haven town, Haven city, Haven town. Anyway, uh, that's why he's doing that. I bet he's gonna help us, or maybe he's gonna. I don't know what's go, it's, it's gonna. I don't know what's gonna. Uh, it's gonna happen, but I think he's not the bad bad guy. How did I even get back here? Okay. Now we're back to the start. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Huh? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? Um, not to be afraid of my emotions. I learned to let myself feel, I guess. And not to be afraid of those, afraid those, of those feelings. feelings. Yep. Couldn't one argue that those old fears turned out to be justified? What do you make of that friction? Oh. Uh. <sighs> I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chase the mystery. Chase the mystery. Got to kiss a pretty girl. But Alex, you're right back where you started. You're wrong. You're wrong. I don't belong. I don't belong in here. <laughs> if that were true, Alex. You'd know you were talking to an empty chair. Now we're gonna go through our mind, see stuff and things. Okay, let's do this. Let's what the fuck? let's freaking do this. I'm so hyped. Oh, what does this one say? Okay, there. Yeah, that's. Change uh, guitar key. Look. Hey, knock, knock. my guitar. Knock, knock. Knock. Let's see everything. Who's there? Um, um Alex. Alex Chen. Alex Chen. Never heard my of her. My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. Sure. Huh. A lock. There must be a code in this room. And yeah, that's how we get to the next one. Uh, poster. Hungry, scared. Sad. Lonely. Guilty. 
angry, so happy. Is that what I look like? Really? Kinda. Okay, anything else? Not open. Family photos. What's going on here? These don't belong to Dr. Lin. I know. It's in your head. I think you can understand that. A tuning peg. Phone. In light of all the reasons, now is a good time to remind her with answers any notes. <laughs> what the hell? Ex escape the room. Yeah, okay. Play. Twelve years ago. Yeah. I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you you can't undo. Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. Okay. Can we take family photos? Oh, I have to take this one. Only? Uh huh. I think I'm gonna go all the way. I'm gonna record the whole thing. Yeah, okay, the, the video's gonna be dying guarding, but... Open... What's the code, though? No... I don't think that's right. Hmm... Knock, knock. Who's there? A five-digit number. Funny stuff. Folder look. Maybe it's gonna be like a date or something. I don't know. Alex ten case number. Oh damn. I guess that's me. Fifty three three two two. Open. The what? Gender, yeah. Emotional instability, occasionally violent, observes hallucinations, visual, hallucinations, oral. Um, delusional in the addition. Okay, depression, anxiety, diagnosis. Who the hell knows? Thrown down a. What? I'll experience the death of their boss, they do not have able to read other people's emotional states and believes that because of his ab disability disease, I'm going to be equipped to help others overcome their own emotional trauma. It's difficult to overlook the irony. Someone else pro profoundly dysfunctional as Alex adopting the role of emotional caretaker. Has it not been returned to my care? I do not think it's hyperbolic to speculate that her reckless attempts at fixing her friends and family would eventually have gotten someone hurt. It's my belief that Alex's delusions constitute, constitute a threat to her continued well-being as well as those of others. As such, I recommend Alex be thrown down an endless pit. What? Her body shattered against its, against its adjusting board and iron brick until she is forgotten in the darkness beneath the world. This is, my professional opinion, the most human thing we can do for her. What the damn hell? 5322. Open. Uh, 5 3 3 2 2 What's that? We got the guitar, yeah, and that's the the, the string thingy that we found. Okay, fix, fix.
Aha. Play the guitar. Start the guitar music. Blood, yeah, because... Yeah. There we go. <laughs> We're alive. We've hit everywhere, but we're alive. Oh. Obviously. There's a ladder. Oh, damn. Oh damn, one moment. Okay. Damn! Okay, I see what's going on. We're gonna fall every time until we get out of the room. Psst. Alex. It's like Gabe getting our mind <gasps> together. You're dead. You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say... a uh, hospital? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick. So is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> How's I change that? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. 14 year old, 10, yeah. Okay, we have to play our part, as he said. Alex, go check on your mother. No. Okay. She... Oh, damn. She was right over there, waiting for me. What is this? Gabe? Alex? I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today. And I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom? Are you okay? Are you okay? Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Things will be different for a little while. But I am going to be... We couldn't afford a private room. We spent so much time in here that Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. It was always too hot in this room. She's just... Okay. I saw her move. Please don't be a jump scare, please, please. Please, I don't like jump scares. Don't 
Dad's overnight bag. How many nights did Dad spend in this room? Sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating the vending. There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Speak. Hey, Mom. Hi, Mom. 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 Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? What? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. <sighs> Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. Okay. something she knew even then she knew no matter how much mom drank her throat was always dry Gabe told me it was full of needles it scared me to death TV Gabe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school It was always too hot in this room. Okay. Nothing really changed. Let's speak to her. Hi, Mom. Am I missing something? <coughs> Mom. Mom. Water, Alex. Get her some water. Yeah. Take the water. Is it full? Did you check it? Never cried, even when you were very small. Did you know that? No, me, I didn't know. Did That's she? been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? My strong girl. I want you to make me a promise. What kind of promise? Your brother. Your father. They are going to need you. You have to be strong. 
we would do that, Alex. Hmm. Looks like I don't have a choice. Such a brave girl. Ever get so brave? <sighs> Good damn. <laughs> now we're feeling sad. Okay, what's this? Uh, what are we? It's our home. The, the previous home, actually. Looks like it. Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I... I think so. Do you miss her? Obviously. Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. Okay, we're fighting. This is going to suck so bad. Okay. Play your part. This is gonna 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 end the episode because it's gonna be too long and I don't want to, you know, I said obviously before I'm gonna record the whole thing. When I said that I thought I had in mind to do all the episode in one part, but then again I said uh, I think no. So here we are because I make I make the decisions uh, at this moment. So yeah, I'm gonna stop it here. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye bye.